your control, it's gonna be as big as it's yeah, ever gonna be. Yeah. Yeah. In the kingdom of God, you gotta lose it to get it. Yeah. You want a better life? Lose it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I know. Folks don't like that type of that's kingdom. Church folks say you can do what you want. Yeah. You can you can get a scripture and claim it all you want to, girl. Cattle yeah. of a thousand hill, the beast of the forest is yours, silver and gold is ours. <laughs> Seriously, boo. Blessed are we coming and going. You're blessed wherever you go, the sole of your feet touch you're blessed. Blessed it is it the city. Blessed it is the city. Seven times claim that house is yours. You walk back and you ain't get the house. Get your credit <laughs> bed. And the lifestyle. And, and God looks at the heart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And our lifestyle are in no shape or form compliant. Come on. To Come what on is now. written. Yeah. But we want to confess it. Oh, okay. Jesus told him, says, you confess with your wow. mouth, but your heart wow. is far wow. from you. Wow. And he said, you yeah. learn that by the commandments of men. Come on. Wow. wow. Yes. Wow. Because you've been taught so good. We got a 21st century church that know all the rules to the game. But they won't fight right. They already figured it out. They already know how they're going to get there. But they won't take the right road. So they're looking for shortcuts. I'll get that in the message. Come on, that's good. It's the truth. Yeah. It ain't going to get you there. It's going to cost you a lot of time. It's going to cost you a whole lot of time. I ain't got all that time. I want to get to there. It's a place called there. I want to get there. It's a place called there. I can feel it on the inside of me. I can't tell you how it look, but I can tell you this. I got it stirring in my belly. Something in my belly says it's somewhere in the, on the horizon. Yes. I'm like Abraham. I look for a city who has foundation, who built her maker was God. Wow. Yeah. You think you think uh, John Wayne talked about pilgrims? <laughs> We're all pilgrims. <laughs> We're pilgrims. <laughs> James, James 4. <clears throat> Verse 4. Adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Oh, so what? If I got a common theme, if some, there's something in my life that, that the world... There's a... How to put this? Uh, uh, I haven't, uh, because see, we, we, okay, I, yeah, we're free. yeah, we, we're, we, we just caught up with the world, we haven't left that system, the course that's in the world, we haven't broken allegiance with it yet, we still got some things on the inside of us that draws us, yeah. and pulls at the heart string, yes. and God is telling us something, he don't want you to be a friend with the world, yeah, an enemy, you gotta be an enemy with you. We'll love one yeah. and hate the other. And he told us in 1 John 2 15 through 17, mm -hmm. the lust of the eyes. What else? The, flesh. the lust of the flesh. What else? And the pride of life. He said, all these things are in the world. And he said, I hate those things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, it's an enemy to me. Enemies of the cross. Enemies of the cross. There you go. That's a good one. Uh -huh. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah, the God is their belly. Mm -hmm. because, yeah, that's a good one. It goes right along with that. The God is our belly. And many of us, uh, our, our, our own uh, uh, God's desires, desires yep, yeah. and appetites is God's. What was yeah. in that verse? Is verse 5? Yeah. Let's stop there. Or do you think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit who dwells in us yearns jealous, jealousy, jealousy, but he who gives more grace, therefore he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So he's telling you that the, the ones that have the, that's a friend with the, with the world, mm -hmm. and the enemy against him is bound by pride. Yeah. That's why you don't change. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, thank you for that. Wow. The reason, I'm telling you, the reason, I told you a long time ago, I can't wait till I hit pride. Yeah. It's a nasty spirit. Yeah, yeah. It's a nasty yeah. attitude. Yeah. All of us, I don't care if you're black, white, uh, poor, rich, don't matter. Uh -huh. I don't care if you got something. I'm telling you, let me tell you something. The worst people that are full of pride is somebody who ain't got nothing. Yeah, right uh, so don't look at it and say you, you're trying to figure out the ones that white collar, blue collar, no collar, everybody. Yeah. Yes, I know some yes. folks that ain't got nothing. Like yeah. they sit back and work out of pocket. They no one to throw it out. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's an old saying, but it's true. Some folks ain't got nothing, but they got all this proud pride. 
We're going to talk about pride and education and all that. It's just a lot of things. And that's a spirit called Sophia. Uh -huh. Let me just put that out there. When you're so entangled with education and accolades, it's a spirit called Sophia. In the, in the Latin or Greek, it's called wisdom. Sophia is the word for wisdom. It's a spirit that will draw you, and you can never get your appetite satisfied. You're trying to figure out, why I want to go back? Yes, yes. Why I got to get another one? Why I got to do more? You got five on the wall, but you want two more. Wow. Wow. Well, anything with such a drive, you know, when it's yeah. such, such a big push or a drive, and you can't explain why you have to do certain things and, and continue to, you know. Let me give a little wisdom of you. If you are targeting a particular uh, uh, job or career, and as you attain accomplishments or degrees, doors should open. Yeah. If you're collecting shrines mm -hmm. and doors are not opening, mm -hmm. then that's the operation of Sophia. Yeah. Yeah. Because it sets you out from the rest. Yeah. And it becomes haunting us. We'll, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about it. Oh, no, I get it now. You got it? I get it. So, so, so when you... You should have... you have fruit. Fruit will come eventually to that... Yeah. that whatever field. You know, whatever whatever field you're you studying. You shouldn't have to switch and have six different fields on your wall so you can point at everybody and say, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> look at that over there. Yeah, I put it down. Four years, six years, eight years. I wouldn't even smile at that. <laughs> if, I'm serious. If I got six, if I got four, six, and eight, 18 years on my wall, yeah. and then my bank account don't reflect those 18 years, oh, yeah. my oh, living arrangement don't reflect those 18 years, there's a problem. There's a problem. Serious problem. Folks tell me all the time, you should go back to school. Did God tell me to go back to school? I'm a smart dude. Yes. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not a scholar, I'm a student, I'm on my way. Come on now. But that doesn't need, if the Spirit of God tell me, I will. Come on, man. But what am I going to do it for? Come on. You have to check your motives. Come on, motives is everything. Yeah. I got guys that got DDS and PhD, don't yeah. even know half the stuff I know. Come on now. And they got all the titles in front of their name. They say, where you get that from? God, out of the scriptures. Yeah. Didn't, didn't come through. Nomenclature through the halls in academia. They come through those halls and came from the Spirit of God. He'll download it to you. Trust them. Yeah. That's true. Somebody on YouTube, somebody watching this, I'm telling you the truth. I'm not trying, I'm not against education. I'm against you using education as a bulwark. It should be a door, not a weapon. Oh, that's good. I like that. Wow. Yeah. Should be a door, not a weapon. Should be a door, not a weapon. When you like a weapon, wow. something's wrong. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. That's true. Amen. Yes. Yeah, that's I don't good. know where you're going Lord, with this. I like that. Lord. See, that's the call of apostles and prophets. Yeah. We know that. Oh, yeah. We deal with motives. You do. You I, deal I, with I, I talk to folks and say, why do you want that? Those minds. Yeah. I got friends around me saying, man, you should be in a bigger building. Why do you want me to be in a bigger building? Yeah, why do you want me to be in a bigger building? Come on. You're not gonna pay the house no. You sitting over in your big building, and you want me to get a big building, bigger building. Come on now. Won't you send some of your people? Come on now. From your building to my building <laughs> to help us build. And then as we get bigger, I'll let you know what I send them back to you. Know? <laughs> Let's get back into the work. <laughs> folks, see, folks don't know, man. I, we. God has given us the ear to hear. I'm not great. Yes. He's given yes. us the ear to hear. Yeah. I, I, folks can tell me, say, I got this dude. I'll be like, my pastor might be like, you lying. Go ahead. 